The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity. And it was not meant that we should voyage far. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little. But someday... Brownie! Sorry, it just got soda pop. Some, but someday, the piecing together of disassociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality and of our frightened position therein, that we shall either go mad from the revelation, or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. Brownie! Sorry! But if the truth was known, no one can understand what you're saying. I was trying to say, if science could prove the way the world really was, it would be very scary, Brownie. You mean because of global warming and stuff? No, because we really don't know the way the world is, Brownie. We don't know what can be hidden out there. Huh? Oh, just forget it, Brownie. Why don't you just turn on the radio and listen to it? Okay. Mutual Alliance Radio presents Brown Monkey's Call of Cthulhu. August 11th, 1930. You are now looking down on the beautiful seaside city of Providence, Rhode Island. A distinguished old man, dressed in a suit and carrying a briefcase, makes his way up the steep lane that leads to his house. Sorry, you startled me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, it can't be. It's been too long. Ah! Cthulhu. Relay. sending me anything. Why don't you read the papers that came with it, Brownie? I'm sure that it will explain it. Why don't you read the papers? I'm just going to look inside. Maybe there will be a toy in here or something cool like that. Maybe a knife <laughs> or a gun. Brownie, a lawyer wouldn't send you a gun or a knife in the mail. Maybe they did by accident. Why don't I just read the paper, Brownie? Yeah, why don't you read the paper while I try to get this darn box open? It's heavy. I can't even tell by what's in there by it's shaking. It sounds heavy. I bet you it has a gun. Maybe a bazooka. It's from the law firm of King Durleth and Block. They were your late uncle's lawyer, it appears. You mean Uncle George? Yes, your late uncle. George Gamble. It's really a shame he died. 
He was a nice guy. I always thought it was kind of strange that he just passed away while walking home. But he was old, Brownie. I don't know if there's anything really strange about it. Yeah, probably not. Which is probably pretty normal. The box was found in your late uncle's office at the As your uncle's heir, the package was shipped to you. I seriously can't get this damn box open. Maybe this key will help, bro. Why didn't you give it to me sooner? There. Oh, I'm in. What did you find, Brownie? Let me see. Oh, I've got some papers. More papers. Uh, this looks like newspapers. And then there's wrap. What's this? It looks like a toy of some sort. It appears to be a sculpture of some sort, Brownie. It appears to be a broken sculpture of some sort. That is because you were shaking the package. No, I think it was because it wasn't packaged properly. Brownie. Well, it wasn't. Just that newspaper in there. And some of this other stuff. I have never seen a sculpture in this style before. Just look at it. Me neither. It's kind of scary. What do you think it is? It appears to be ivory. It looks like it is made from several pieces of walrus tusk. The hieroglyphics or writing on it appear to be very old. I have never seen any other samples of that type of writing before, Browning. And the creature it depicts is even stranger. Some type of pulpy tentacle head on a grotesque and scaly body. It has wings. It's very strange. No, no. Just look at him. Look at that face and his wings. Do you think he's a squid bat or a bat squid? Brownie, compare the size of the figure to the massive city that is portrayed behind him. And look at the humans that are being held and crushed in his paw-like feet. Okay, so he's big. But is he a giant bat squid or a giant squid bat? There are no such things as squid bats or bat squids, Brownie. Then why did they bother to make a sculpture of one? Why are you staring at me like that, Sherm? And your upper lips are starting to curl back. Uh, I'm gonna be going. Uh, but would you mind going the bat wing on for me? Bye!